Holy crap. She started. They actually came in this morning and spread some sand and salt on the roads up here. Holy crap. Okay, lady. Uh, anyways, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? So today we're heading to Mississauga, Mississauga to uh, this special place that supplies special lengths of special things of round shapes. <laughs> and uh, of course, I'll tell you when we get down there. But uh, I'll let you uh, ride in the suspense for a little longer, and then. Uh, uh, it's pretty much actually right, pretty much not right beside, but pretty much right down by Princess Auto where I go to in Mississauga. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, I might stop there. I want to uh, grab some stuff from my trailer actually, a couple of lock and dewies and stuff. And uh, I've had them before. And then the one, the ball lock thing on the thing last year, the freaking thing got stuck and the stupid key broke off in it. That was the only key I had. So I'm going to maybe get another one of them if they have them there. And um, another one of the latch lock thingies there on the trailer too because it totally screwed up on me. I had her sprayed good and everything and you know it was just ticking me off. <laughs> so I just fired it away, got rid of that stupid thing. So anyways, here we go. All right, we're on the big street here and so far nothing's falling apart. Stranded me, broken down, blew off. <laughs> uh, it's no louder than it was before, which is good. Holy cow. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's sort of kind of good, I guess. Uh, I didn't sleep much last night because of the anticipation of this trip. Um, you know, breaks down, it breaks down, whatever. I guess you get yourself towed home or whatever, you know, but uh, it still sucks. But so far, so good. So now being loaded coming home may be a little bit different story, but um, hopefully uh, we're good. So, uh, anyways, a um, few more minutes we'll be there. We just got to do a bit of the highway here and then a uh, couple of turns, a couple of turns, and Kablooey will be there. Well, this isn't what I call a quick way down the city, a nice highway. This is freaking crap. Probably a crash up here, no doubt. Uh, I seen one guy, holy man, he come flying up in this lane beside me and swooped in just missed the guy that he was passing and then swooped back in again i'm like holy freaking crap that's why things happen <laughs> look at the lights this guy's got on the back of it's kind of funny got two of them one in there too <laughs> uh probably has nothing at all to do with skulls <laughs> unlike me most times sometimes <laughs> that's kind of funny though but anyways uh yeah so we're fighting traffic uh Luckily, it's not too much further down here. It's a little bit yet, but um, oh, once you get past the whatever, it usually picks up again. So we'll get there eventually. Well, I kind of thought that maybe she would have broke up and took off again, but it looks like it's way, 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 way down there even. I can still see the cars, but my exit's actually coming. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, someone probably down here is crashed or they're doing construction or something that messes her all up. And uh, I kind of figured, like it's like 10 o'clock now, I figured that maybe most of it would have been all done by now, but oh, uh, who knows? I mean, uh, traffic-wise would have been done by now, but rush hour going in, rush hour coming home. Man, I couldn't stand doing this every day. It'd drive me absolute batty. I feel bad for the ones that have to do this every day, too, just to go to work. But holy cow, if you're not there until 11 o'clock, the day's darn near half over by then. So, like, what time would you have to work till to, to get back to, you know, home again? Like, just a nuisance having to drive all the way down through this every day. Yay! My exit. Yay! Get me the frick out of here. Finally. <laughs> soon be there. Look at the traffic still all the way down there. That sucks. Sucks to be down there. 
see there's an interchange exchange thingy down there that usually it backs up down by and it's probably that but man we backed up that far like oh 20 20 kilometers or so that's ridiculous but uh, anyhow uh, no more traffic here anyways Woo! in a big tunnel Well, we're almost there. I figured I'd just kind of film the rest because you never, never, never know what's going to be happening down in here. You never, never, ever, never know. <laughs> never, never, ever, never, never, ever, never, never know. Wow, you could really get yourself tied up very quick. <laughs> never, ever, ever, never, ever, never know. Well, blah, blah. <laughs> anyways, uh, yes, we are almost there. I hope. <laughs> and I've never been to this place before, but if you actually turn left here and go down sort of in and around and around, that's where you get to Princess Auto. So we'll probably be coming back that way and heading down through that way and uh, going into there too. Um, see what we can get. I also got a tire on the left. When I'm sitting here driving on the left rear, that I think is either mounted incorrectly somehow or really badly out of balance because it one kilometer, turn right on to really shakes your trailer like a lot and you can really feel it when you're driving. So I don't know what to say about that. If they have another tire at uh, whatchamacallit, Princess Auto it wouldn't be bad to maybe pick one up and then I could just put this one and use it as like a spare because I don't actually have a spare for this trailer, which you should probably have a spare, uh, so I doubt they'll have that size or whatever, but yeah, you never know, you never know, and I think it's a 5 bolt, so um, let's see what they got. Alright, so this is quite a little industrially kind of area, I just went past a steel mart place, like for buying steel, and holy cow, the traffic's backed up way down here, even I can just see it. <laughs> Uh, and I just went past, uh, what else did I go past there? Uh, can, uh, some bearing place. Reliable bearing. Is on your right, oh. Oh. Kestrel Road. Well, look at this, here we are. And uh, that is where we are going. Sweet. Now, customer parking, yeah, but a little bit too tight for me. So I'm just going to pull down here. Okay, I haven't paid for it yet, but she says, just go around back and load it up and then just come up and see me after. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I will. But uh, she says, I can't, I can't uh, put an invoice through for it until they release it from shipping. So I'm like, uh, okay, well, now, where do I go? I'm guessing around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, because <laughs> I didn't need my trailer, there she be in the box. So it's not a huge box either. I'm like, sure that's right. <laughs> Hopefully it is. We'll have to get a woman and have a look at her, I guess, here. And I, I looked at it just now and I think it should be fine, but uh seems funny that's in such a small box. But uh, anyways, you guys are gonna have to wait till we get home. I do apologize again, but uh, it's a big suspense today. All right, on our way to PA, Princess Auto, that is. Pretty busy down here though, I must say. This one, this route I've traveled quite a bit. I usually come down through this way instead of going the, the main stupid way by like the airport and stuff. It's just ridiculous going that way. So, uh, it looks like they were taken off this way though, which is kind of cool. So we might see the odd huge mother, huge mother plane. Now, trouble is I gotta find an area in here to park that's got two spots. Otherwise I'm gonna have to park it on the road or something here. This doesn't look like it's gonna be too much fun, but I think if I get in behind more, I should be able to find something. So, the unique world of Princess Oh, we made her again. Oh, yay. And yeah, I think if I get over there somewhere, I should be able to, what the frick is that? All right, well, we got a coupler lock. Uh, no tire though, <laughs> they had one there, <laughs> that size is a, a 1ST20575D15 inch rim. $189 for a 
for a tire. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, I kind of sort of need a spare, but I'll have to maybe wait and see if a sale comes on on them things or something. Holy crap. And of course, that was like the biggest, not the biggest tire, but the most expensive one there for some stupid reason. So there must be something special about it. Maybe they don't go flat or something. I don't know, but holy crap, $190 plus tax on that too. This thing was bad enough. It was $30 just for this thing here, so. But uh, $30 versus, you know, $4,000 trailer stolen. There you go, right? So, but $189, and she looks, that was the one in the store. Looks pretty much exactly like that. 20575D15, that's what mine are. So, holy friggin' crap, there's what mine is there. I'm like, uh, not today. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, oh man, we must be getting one heck of a freaking, <laughs> freaking, a freaking headwind going here. Holy cow, the pork truck is just screaming. Oh, it's like 2,500 RPM. Hopefully she's not letting go <laughs> and seizing up on me. Maybe gonna work harder. I don't hear any funny noises yet, so I'm pretty sure if it was starting to seize her up something, you might hear something going on somewhere. I think we're just having a really wicked strong headwind here. Probably once I get turned here, she'll gear down again, or gear up. Hopefully. I'm doing like 103. Speed limit's 100, so I'm doing pretty good. There we go. Yeah, just a headwind there. Holy crap, fighting that the whole way up. And you know what? This traffic on the other side that we were stuck in coming down was all cleared out when I come back. Wow. <laughs> really? Oh, if I was like another half an hour, hour leaving this morning, I would have been fine. But whatever. I guess that must have been just like late morning rush hour or something. What a freaking nuisance. <laughs> Still working hard, holy cow. And I'm gonna have to fight her because we got up here, we got to turn and then head north uh, all the way up there. So that's gonna be a bit of a fight too. And then up the big mountain, I'll film maybe going up the mountain, the big mountain at uh, below Caledon Village, they call it there. And it's quite an elevation drop, like a lot. I don't know how many feet, but it's a lot. I should actually fire up my GPS Dewey thingy there, and then uh, we can see from that. But uh, you could, I don't know if the video is bouncing, but that's the trailer bouncing me. It's just like, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, two hundred dollars for hundred. Well, it would have been over two hundred dollars with tax. Holy crap for a friggin' tire! Man, that's ridiculous. But I don't know. Maybe I'll have to take it off and take it over and get them to balance it and remount it or something, and then. Uh, Go from go from there and see if it gets better. I don't I don't generally know if you actually balance trailer tires, but this one's definitely got something going on with it. Actually, I should take it back to the place I bought it from. I guess they could do it there too. I don't know, or exchange me for another one. But uh, holy cow, it's bouncy. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta chop the speed back here. I always get over to because of these guys in this lane coming off of here. Uh, they're not gonna be in my way though. And this is the newer part of the highway that merges right back onto the main highway that goes past my house. So this this little addition to this highway though saves you like 20 minutes of traffic and oh crap. Oh, I'm not speeding anyways, I am now. Oh crap. Oh, he had the gun up too. Radar and people. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky. I've already got a speeding ticket this year. I don't need another one. <laughs> Oh, that was totally my fault, though, that speeding ticket. Oh, man, we were going down to the uh, Milton Steam Show there. Uh, Labor Day weekend there. It's uh, a road exactly like this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like a big major highway-looking road, right? It's not like a two-lane, no-shoulder kind of road. And uh, the speed limit dropped from 70 to 50 like boom like that it's like whoa okay and I guess I didn't lay on the brakes fast enough and there's a cop sitting there nailed me <laughs> apparently I was doing 85 no it was 80 and then 60 that's what it was uh, speed limit 80 and then 60 boom like pretty much right away and then I guess I was still doing 85 and a 60 so she nailed me for that but she only wrote it down as I was doing 75 so I'm like oh okay thanks whatever <laughs> 
and uh, pay the pay the fine online, which is sweet. A little bit of rigmarole going through all that, but uh, we paid her and uh, good to go. But uh, the thing is, if uh, like for an instance, yesterday I went and got my my uh, e-test done. Now I got to go get the sticker for the plate, license plate. Now as soon as you go to do that, they won't give it to you until you pay that fine. Either you can pay it there, or you can wait and pay it some other way or fight it in court or what you know but it's like really it's like $27 are you gonna go to the freaking court to fight that yes I was in the wrong I admitted it and that's it you're done you're screwed you like you, you, you might go fight it and spend whatever dollars on fighting it to save four dollars like it doesn't make any sense it just doesn't make any sense at all like you know you might get right off too, but still, it's only like $27, like big friggin' deal. Like, maybe it is to some people, but it's not worth the bloody hassle. Show up in court, and doing that, and blah, 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 and this and that. It's like, just pay it and be done with it. Like, if it was like a $4,000 fine, yeah, okay, but you probably deserve that too, you know? They're not gonna just slap something on you for no, no apparent reason. You know, that's why I see it anyway. It's like, yeah, you committed the crime, you gotta do the time or pay the fine. <laughs> there you go. So. Um, actually right now we're coming up to a trailer place on the left here, but it's the same company, same name. They'll, the father owns this one down here and where I bought my trailer up north of me, the son owns that one. And uh, apparently they don't get along. <laughs> so I guess he split off from dad and uh, it's down right here, yeah. He split off from dad and uh, to heck with you dad, I guess it's probably over money, no doubt. Look, we've got a whole lot there right now, but Reinhardt trailers there. He's probably got tires in there, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about it right today, I don't think. Uh, keep an eye on the Princess Auto Flyers, or maybe just get one of Buddy up there. Maybe he'll do me a little better on it than Princess Auto would do. Maybe even 150, I'd be happy with that, but 189 for a tire, I can't see that. That's just crazy. So, it's either that or take it up and get him to balance it or whatever. Maybe he'll just exchange it or something, I don't know. But, uh, anyways, uh, a few more minutes, we'll be home. Actually, way, 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 way up there. I don't know if you can see it from here is the big mountain I was telling you about. There you go. I don't know what the elevation is, but uh, I'll see what I can do here and see how far we go up. Okay, so right now I'm showing about 970 feet above sea level. Uh, we got a little bit till we get to the mountain here yet, but then uh, when we get to the top, we'll... Uh, See what we're reading then. It's showing 9, 980 now. So we're going to say between 970 and 980. Actually, that last measurement wasn't quite right because there's a lot up and down before we actually get to the hill here. So once we get sort of near the bottom of the hill, which actually looks pretty level right after this, we're going to say... We're going to say... Because any more after this looks like it starts to go up again. 900. 940, okay, so 940 at the bottom of the hill. Okay, so we're just heading her, heading her up. We're already at uh, 1,022. <laughs> so we're almost gone up 100 feet. Not quite, but almost. Oh, there's 100 feet. Come on, old girl, pull me up the hill one more time. seen there holy cow there you go so 410 12 feet I guess it's not too bad 
already made her back. Made her back, no problems. Still real not loud though, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Actually, not so bad now. <laughs> Maybe it's worn itself back in. I don't know. Okay, let's see what the big mystery box is in the back of the truck. Well, pretty big box. I kind of thought it would have been a little bit bigger. <laughs> but uh, apparently it's all in here. And what is it? What is in here? Oh crap. Hanging on by one thread. Two threads. Oh, what is in there? Whoa, Oh, 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 oh. oh, so like I said yesterday, this is something for a project coming up this soon, next little while, this winter anyways. Oh, stay open, silly thing. And this is a uh, suction hose. Ooh, that's beautiful stuff, nice and flexible. Flex that right around. There's supposed to be 25 foot in 25 foot in here. <laughs> Holy Hannah. Hello. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna try something here. Hang on a sec. Look, look. This is your Faja speaking. No, actually, this is a flexible hose. It's meant for grass and leaf debris. And uh, it looks like it's got a metal wire running through it with a little wear, orange wear strip on it. And uh, this stuff was a little bit cheaper stuff um, because I don't need 50 feet of this stuff. The other stuff that he had was uh, a 50 foot length. I'm like, ah, oh, that's probably too big way too long and it would have been like $700 for that hose. I'm like, holy crap, I don't need that much. But anyways, uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Hello. So, that should be 25 feet roughly. It's probably shrunk a little bit, but I'm gonna do a rough measurement here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Did I just I just lost track. Holy crap. I kind of don't think this is 25 feet. But like I say, it's probably gotta get stretched a bit because it was kind of crimped up in that box. Try this again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Interesting. But like I say, like at some of it's kind of shrunk, like this stuff's actually supposed to expand. So it probably is 25 feet. Uh, I need something heavy in that end so I can pull it a bit and uh, measure it. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, plus my shoes are a little bit more than actually 12 inch, so that is probably about 24 feet and then stretch another foot. So, but um, let's get something heavy. Shove her in this end and give her a little tug. Okay, so I got a little weight, that big uh, steel weight off my bench in there. Uh, I've got the tape started there. This is a 25 foot tape. So uh, being in a box, I imagine it's kind of, it's not far off though. We're 20, 23 right there, so. Yeah, it's got a bit of shrink to her too, eh? But once she's stretched, I think we're good. Oop, yeah, we're good. And... Holy Hannah. <laughs> Sweet. And this stuff they put on here is like a wear-resistant stuff, and then it's like a... whatchamacallit in the middle. Now, this isn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted a smooth interior wall stuff. But, let's have a look at... The other little short piece I got here. See this stuff, so, uh, it's got a little bit of ridges in it, but it's not, 
it's smoother. I don't know, this stuff is a lot more rigid though. So hopefully that other stuff will work. It should have a lot of flex to her. Now, this is of course too short. Um, well, honestly I haven't hooked it up to this tractor to this deck yet, but to reach into the thing it's going to need to be uh, probably a bit longer. <laughs> but uh, that should do. Um, now, should do a trial fit here too on this guy. Um, it's going to be too tight to get off, I think. Well, it looks pretty much exactly the same, though. I think it should be should be good, but I better double check. All right, that looks like it should work pretty good. Um, a little tight of a fit, but this stuff's probably actually stretched the hair a little bit, too. So that should work good. Uh, I haven't tried it on the other Dewey there yet, but if, you know, this one and here fit on that Dewey, I'm pretty sure this Dewey will fit on that Dewey, and uh, those Deweys should work together. So you can see a nice little bit of flex there, right? That's perfect. Perfect stuff. Should be good. Can't wait for more leaves next year now. <laughs> but I uh, gotta wait a whole winter and whole spring and a whole another summer into the fall and then yeah. So anyways, should, should, should be a waiting game I guess. Oh well. Alright, well that's probably gonna be pretty much it for today. I'm just waiting on a phone call to dig a, dig a hole for tomorrow or maybe even later today so this might be actually the end of uh, the end of her for today uh, I got a call to dig a hole for a guy I probably shouldn't tell you this but someone that passed away about six days ago that they just found today so it's kind of like a okay dig a hole put him in that's it <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. but anyways uh, sometimes that happens you know Sometimes that happens. I got some good stories I could tell you, but I can't tell you publicly like this. So, anyways. Just gonna go up park the trailer, I guess. I didn't even need her, but anyways, took her for a little tour. Oh, she's making good noise there now. Doing about 21. I have to remember that. I think I'm still gonna maybe throw this up on uh, some jack stands just to kind of see what the noise is but um it could be just a few u-joint one stupid u-joint's maybe gone funky and you know they're all original so if it did i wouldn't doubt it okay gotta really concentrate on doing this so uh we'll see you in a second we'll uh, try our new uh lock dewey out okay mm -hmm. hmm Go there, go there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. That's not too bad. It's just as ignorant as my last one, though. Trying to get that thing on and off. Well, of course, if I, you know, wasn't holding the camera in my teeth, it probably would have been maybe a little easier, but I guess it's not too bad. Well, it is almost two o'clock. I think two o'clock. 2.07. I haven't received a call yet for uh, digging a hole, so uh, I think I'm gonna go and take off my 24-inch uh, bucket and thumb attachment and put back on my 36, so I am ready to go for it. It's nicer digging with that 36. She's one width, one length, one done. <laughs> 24 is okay, but um, doesn't hold very much in the bucket itself, and uh, then you always gotta move yourself around to make the hole wider, right? So, uh, kinda sucks that way, but uh, anyways, uh, that'll maybe be it for today on that. And uh, still waiting for a call. That's all we can do, so. We'll uh, pull the tractor out here and uh, get switching, switching buckets. Okay, so perfect job for this. Now we'll get all greasy then. Woo! Don't mind that.
So, make sure you're in the shot here. And that's a good thing I checked. Okay, so we're gonna take the thumb part off first. Hydraulics next. started there. So I gotta drive this pin through the first of the bay. too well on this.
that lined up there. I did the other ones the other day when I had this bucket on, so I'll just do the ones where we've uh, replaced the pins here. That seems kind of tight, that one. It might need a, uh, whatchamacallit. I looked it up in 2011. Tore this whole entire back thing apart here and cleaned it all. It might need her again. That's a pretty big job. Out here now. Hopefully not too bad. So it's kind of hard to see, but uh, normally I would have had all this crap all over me. So we're gonna strip down. Oh yeah, not a speck. And I should have left my gloves on for one more second, but anyways, I shouldn't get too bad here. There, now she won't fill water. <laughs> She'll run off! Well, with that big bucket on there, sure doesn't leave a whole lot of room. I guess I should have left the bucket off of the front here, but I've got huh, about six inches there, maybe, <laughs> and that's it. She's pretty darn tight for for room, so the door closes about here, so that's pretty tight. Well, oh, that's heavy. While I'm waiting, I guess maybe I'll do some work on this guy. Uh, Not the hitch part, the this part here, or the receiver part, the hitch part. Uh, gonna do some sandblastering on her, and then uh, paint her, paint her up with some primers. I might even just go over that with the grinder, or hit her a bit harder with the sandblaster. Smooth that down a little bit. That and. Kind of thinking I wouldn't mind sandblasting my huge drill bit too, just for for shows, you know. So maybe that'll end up in the sandblaster there too, and uh, we'll uh, fire that up and then uh, get this all nice and clean as best we can. I think I got lots of primer. I sure do. Lots of primer up here, and uh, oh, there's another old can, an old coerced. That's actually French, I think. Old girl. That's a really old one. Um, got lots of primer. I don't know exactly what color I'll do it, but I don't know how much of that left. Won't be enough of that one. That's my GM black for the car. Better not burn that up. I want something fairly decent. This isn't really good stuff for uh, for metally stuff. I okay, got some. New JD yellow. That would maybe be all right. Or this morning on the trailer, when I put the uh, the jack down and started cranking the handle, I've been having troubles with it. It's never been good since day one, and uh, it wouldn't turn at all. I'm like what the frig, you know? 
So I turned it, cranked it, and it actually snapped the handle right off out of the thing. So I might have to go and uh, replace the jack too, which... Uh, see maybe if TSC has something. I could go up to the trailer guy, but I'm like, uh, I'm not going out there today, so... Uh, maybe while I'm out there looking at jacks, I'll look at um, some kind of paint or something. I don't know what color to do it. It's kind of, well, you know, it's black, yellow, and green. I guess it probably should be black. I do have some high heat enamel stuff here. It's kind of like a dull gray, though. Or dull, sorry, dull black. <laughs> We got some not so shiny chrome. It's actually not shiny like that at all. It's very, very false. Well, actually, I sh shot a piece here somewhere with it. Right there. So it's not really that shiny at all. I know, like the metal itself is shinier. Lame. False advertising. But uh, what else we got here? Lots of oil, that's for sure. We got some. New case red, that just wouldn't happen. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, what I got. Oh, that's still like a full one though. I don't really want to burn up a good one like that just for this little thing. There's uh, some, oh, that's the color of my truck. This stuff, uh, I didn't write the number on her there, but that's uh, whatever that number is. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm into more like oils and sprays and stuff here, so that's no good. Uh, we move some some hoard here and we'll uh, have a look. Now you can't say that's hoard, that's actually gold laying right there, steel. I got some more spray paints down here. Oh, I got lots of yellow here, look. Could do it yellow maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. That's a red primer. I like this other primer better. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just look at the paint out while I'm out there. Oh, these are more green there. I'm going to too, though. I got more paint I know what to do with. Too many projects. There's a universal red. Some miscellaneous -y ones up there. There's a black. That would work even too, universal black. Oh, I'm still going to look at paint up there. You can't ever have enough paint, you know that. Oh, this is a cool thing. My father-in-law made this. It's a, one of them oh, trick things. He's to he's into the woodworking and stuff. So what you gotta do is I put this on open fast. So when you open it, it whoosh, comes out and attacks you. Kind of neat, eh? Whoosh. Oh, and he gets his neck stuck. Whoosh, ah! I don't know how he made her, but there's a little wooden mechanism -y thing, I guess, down there somehow. And it just get the right arc on that stuff and it comes out and attacks you. Get in there. Dirty thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll blast this stuff first, see how it looks. And uh, still waiting on a phone call. May not be till tomorrow now, which is okay, but uh, we'll blast this stuff up and uh, see how she looks.
that's it. Uh, the little pause there when I was grinding. Uh, I got the phone call. I got to go start digging. So uh, that's probably going to be it for today. But uh, there we go. I smoothed them off a little bit. They look a little more better and stuff. Give the corners a little bevelly edge to them. Make it look pretty sweet. And then there's the drill press. You can see where she goes turns into the hard stuff. <laughs> that line there, I guess. This is probably just regular. And this is the hardened stuff. So that's pretty sweet. But uh, not going to have time to... Uh, blast those today but they'll be all right in here over the weekend so anywho i'm gonna have to call her a day we're just gonna go fire up the tractor here see that's one of the downies downest sort of thingies about my job here is uh you're always on call always on call you know five o'clock comes yeah okay that's you know pretty much it but uh all day. Amazed I didn't get a go. Oh, I was down the city there today. All right. Well, that's it for today. I'm glad I changed my bucket because that'll be handy for digging. And uh, we'll catch you Monday. Farm Sim Saturday's up and ready tomorrow. We went back to the um, Born Home map, the one that comes with the game. Still not crazy on that map, but uh, we're working on her, anyways. And uh, holy cow, I got spots on my camera big time here. Me a little better. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, this I uh, can't paint this today. Anyways, it's pretty wicked hot here, so all that grinding just got pretty warm. So, but anyways, I gotta hit her out. You guys have a good weekend. Enjoy Farm Sim Saturday tomorrow. We'll catch you Monday. Have a good night and a weekend. Oh, and this weekend is uh, the Orangeville Santa Claus Parade. In Orangeville here, actually tomorrow tomorrow night. It's an evening parade with all the lights and stuff. So let me know in the comments if you want me to film it for you. If not, we'll, we won't bother. Uh, sometimes it's pretty good, sometimes it's pretty cruddy, but uh, this is Orangeville too, don't forget. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any parade stuff. And I'll basically just take the tripod and set her up and uh, let her go. So uh, anyways, uh, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you Monday.